you, Lord. This turns out uh, mm-hmm. I've entitled this Thief Proof Your Home and Your Soul. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, we um, <clears throat> we spend a lot of time and money making sure that our homes are safe. We we put cameras and everything else to safeguard our home, right? Mm -hmm. And what about your soul? What about your soul? So I'm going to read John 10, 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. And it reads as follows. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, for the privilege in the honor that I have to stand before your people to teach and to preach what you put in my heart. In Jesus' name, let these words not return back empty. Lord, let them go and do what they're supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, have your way in this service, Lord. Have your way in Jesus' name for your welcome in this place to walk and dwell amongst your people, Lord. Let your glory fill this house in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. You may be seated. Amen. So we uh, we safeguard our homes, our businesses, right? And that is good. It's good, right? You know, we work hard for what we do, for what we have. Why should someone just come and take it, right? Why should someone just come and take it? Um, Like I've said before, I was in in high school and somebody um, took my my speakers out of my car and um, I knew who was parked behind me and, and I went looking for them and I Took him back. Didn't find him, but I went into the welding shop and got a welding rod and I broke into his car and took my stuff back. <clears throat> so, um, you know, we work hard for what we have, right? And we need to, we, we want to protect it. We want to protect what we have and you know, we uh, <clears throat> we install cameras, motion detectors, um, lighting, whatever it is that you have to do to to deter the thief from coming to your home mm-hmm. or your business, right? Mm-hmm. And all that is good. And uh, shouldn't we do the same with our spiritual life? That's right. Shouldn't yeah. we do the same with 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 our souls? Yes, amen. You should thief, thief proof your soul. That's right, amen. Right? I'm going to read uh, in Matthew, cha- Matthew chapter 6, 19 and 21. We need to do what we need to do to thief proof your home, your spiritual home. In Matthew six nineteen to twenty one says, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. 
but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal mm -hmm. for where your treasure is there will your heart be also See? Yeah. we need to store our treasures in heaven we need to store those those things where where thieves can't break through nor and steal we need to invest in those things right. where th those things they can't take. Mm -hmm. um, just like they, they say that, you know, the devil, he can't come and take your joy. That's right. right? He can't take your joy. Why? Because he didn't give it to you. That's right. Yeah. He didn't give it to you and he can't take it away. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yes. We need to invest in the things that are that are worthy yes. you know do all the other things they'll either rust yes. the corrupt mm -hmm. but yeah. or the thief will come in and take it right. uh, yes. it, it happens yes, it happens you go around and you you show off what you have pretty soon yeah. you, you, you can't find it the thief came and took it yes. uh, he came and took it because you were, you were showing it off, showing what you have, and he came and took it. He was the thief that came and, and stole it. So we need to lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. There ain't going to be any thieves in heaven, right? For where your treasure is, there where your heart be also. We need to safeguard our souls in First Thessalonians chapter five. First Thessalonians chapter five. First Thessalonians five. I'm going to start reading with verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. See, The Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. Right? For when they say, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness. See? That that day should overtake you as a thief. See? That's the key right there. You're not in darkness so that that day is not going to overtake you as a thief. Yeah, that's right, right. Because you would have thief-proofed your home. Yeah. Right? Yes. The Lord isn't going to come in like a thief in the night and on, upon you. That's right. Because you're, you're not in darkness. Yeah. But those that are in darkness, they're, the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Yeah. They're not going to know it. Or let me... They're not going to know it, yeah. Yes. They're not going to know when the Lord comes. That's right. He's going to come like a thief in the night. Amen. Amen. But you're not in darkness, it says. You're not in darkness. It says, Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. See? That's who we are. We're Children of the light, we're of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Amen. See? Amen. We need to watch and be sober. Yes. Amen. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. See? Amen. But let us, who are of the day, be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet the hope 
of salvation. Amen. Let's see, verse to verse 9. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. See, so the Lord, he's going to come like a thief in the night to them that ain't ready. That's right. Those that then are out there getting drunk at night and just sleeping at night, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to be waiting. We're going to be waiting. That's why the Bible says be sober, be vigilant. Yeah. See, yes. we need to be ready and waiting. Yes. So that the Lord doesn't come as a thief in the night. Because um, he's, he is going to come. He's going to come. So we, we need to thief proof your home. Yeah. So that the Lord when he comes. He ain't going to catch you unaware. Okay, We're going to be waiting. You know these cameras that we have. They're good for. For watching and whatever, and on the lookout when you're not, right? Yeah. Well, we need to be waiting. We need to be watching with those spiritual eyes. That's right, man. Uh, we need to be waiting for the Lord because He's coming. Yes, he is. He's coming. He's, he said He would. He is. And, yes. and he's, he's coming. Yes, his he coming is. is much closer than, than you think. Amen. We, we need to be ready. Yeah. Don't be caught like a thief in the night. Amen. You know, everyone knows that. Right? Yeah. You hear that, oh, he's going to come as a thief in the night. He is. Yes, he is. But to those that ain't ready. That's right. We're going to be ready and we're going to be waiting. That's right, man. We're going to be waiting, yes. right? Because yes. if you knew at what time the thief was coming, you would you would stand there and watch, right? Mm -hmm. You would be waiting for him to come so that you can catch him. Amen. Catch him in the act, right? Amen. Catch him in the act. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to do that. We're going to be waiting for the Lord to come because he's coming. Yes. Amen. He said he would and he is yes. coming. Yes. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh. Uh, we're, we're in those days. We're in those days, amen. You know, peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Mm. It says, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, we need to be ready. Amen. We're, we're not in darkness. We're not children of the night. We're children of the day. You know, we, uh, we need to be careful as the people of God. <clears throat> you know, sometimes... You know, the people of God don't have any business being out there late at night. That's right, right. Right? Yes. You need to come home at a decent hour. Yeah. Because um, right. don't they say the freaks come out at night? Yes, they do. Yeah. That's when they're out there. That's when they're out there. They're out there because they're, that's who they are. They're children of the night. We're children of the day. We can take care of the things we need to take care of during the day. Amen. Uh, they like yes. they like the night because their deeds are evil. The Bible says yes. the deeds were evil. Amen. The deeds that they do are evil. Amen. Uh, that's when that's when they do their thing. Yes. Right? You know, they they'll sleep during the day and at night they're up doing their crooked business. Right? Whatever they do, it's when they do best. <coughs> but we're, we're the children of the day, not of the night. We're, we're children of the light. So come home at a decent hour and stay home. You don't want to be out there. 
You don't want to make the news. Be like, what? What business do the people of God have being out that late? Um, they should be sleeping. Um, you know, we, all we can do is pray. All, so all we can do is pray for the, the kids, right? These parents pray for the children that the Lord keep them safe. Because they don't have any business out there. None. So the thief comes and takes your blessing. He'll take your blessings. He'll come and take your happiness. Huh? That's what he does. He, he'll come and he'll destroy those friendships, those relationships. Huh? The devil is the one behind the division in the churches, That's right, in the body of Christ. Yeah. Uh, that's what he comes to do. That's what he comes to do. Just know that the devil is behind it. Amen. The devil is the one behind the division, the, dis the, the friendships, the relationships that are broken, that are lost. Yeah. Blame the devil. The Bible says that everything good comes from God. Um, everything good comes from God. From the Father of lights, it says. Okay. Blame the devil for everything bad. Uh, blame the devil. You might say, oh, but God, God this, God that. Yeah, God allowed it. God allowed those things to happen because for one, you, you were out of the will of God. You were out of the will of God. You're out of His protection. Right. That's when things happen. When you're out of the protection of the Lord. That's right. You're out there. You wanted to do things on your own. Uh, no. When you want to do things on your own, then who do you got to blame but the one you see in the mirror? Amen. Uh, that's the one you blame. The one you see in the mirror. You don't blame God. God didn't do those things. He allowed them. He allowed them to happen because, you know, you, you just wanted to take things under your own hand, under your own circumstances and what have you, but the Lord allowed it. Amen. So stay under the protection of the Lord. Stay under the protection of the Lord. Remember he said? He is your refuge yes. and strength. Yes. Take refuge in Him. That's right, amen. Take refuge in Him. Yeah. So. Yeah. The Bible says that the body of Christ is not divided. The body of Christ isn't divided. So the devil's the one that comes to divide the, the church body. He's the one that comes to, to bring division. You know, we just, we allow him to. You know, we, uh, as the people of God, we need to <coughs> not be used by the enemy of our soul. Because he can use you. He can use you. You can be an instrument for him and but you don't have to be, you don't have to be the one that causes division. Just be the one that, that mends, be the one that heals, bring the one that brings people back, yeah. not to drive them further away. That's right, amen. Be that, yes, be amen. that. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, what is this going to do? What is this going to do? Is it going to further the cause of Christ? Or is it going to drive people away? What's it going to do? What's it, what's it going to do to people? Bring them closer to the Lord or drive them further away? Uh, we need to think about it. Amen. So Christ isn't divided. Um, just like the... Uh, 
the point they said in the um, in First Corinthians one. First Corinthians one twelve says. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? But the question was, is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? He's not divided, is he? Right. He's not. So Christ is not divided. So those that are behind the division of the brethren are being carnal. They're being carnal. I forgot to put the, the reference text to that. There it is right here in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 3. It says, For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, see, are ye not carnal and walk as men? See? Those that cause division are carnal. But being carnal, really, that's what it says. I'll read it again in 1 Corinthians 3, 3. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? See? And I'll just keep reading. For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? See? There's divisions. There's division. And <coughs> there can't be any division in the body of Christ. Mm. Let us be spiritual and not carnal. Mm. The Lord always asks the question, or He always tells us to be spiritual. We need to be spiritual. The Bible says to let no man take your crown. Right, huh? Let no man take your crown. Yes. Let no man take your crown. This crown that we're going to get when we make it to heaven, mm -hmm. we can't we can't let anyone keep us from receiving it. That's right, amen. Right? Yes. Don't let nobody come and take your crown. Mm -hmm. Just know know the source. Know know who's it, who's behind it. Mm -hmm. It's the enemy of our soul. That's right, amen. If he can keep you from from getting that crown, from keeping that blessing, mm -hmm. he's gonna do it. Right. And he'll use the people of God. That's right. He'll use the people of God. That's why I said, don't be used by the enemy of your soul. Don't let him use you. Don't let the enemy of your soul use you. Don't be a hindrance. Don't be a stumbling block. Don't be a stepping stone. Oh, man. Stepping stone means somebody... <laughs> Be a, you're telling me to be a floor doormat? Uh, no, not to be a doormat. Be a help to those that need it. Help those that need the help. Like, like the scripture says, uh, Jesus told Peter, when you are converted, help your brethren. When you're converted, help your brethren. Help one another. That's what we're supposed to do when we're converted. We're supposed to help one another. Uh, you that are holy, help them. Bring them to repentance. Bring them to repentance. Don't be the one that, you, 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 you. Uh, you, 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 you. You did all these things. You did all this and that. No. Bring them to repentance. Don't bring what they did in, in their face. They know what they did. Yeah. They know they did wrong, right? right? Mm -hmm. They don't need you to rub it in their face again. Yeah. 
Amen. Be the one to help them, yes. to bring them to repentance. Yes. Be a help. Don't be a stumbling block. Don't be a hindrance. Right, doesn't matter who you are. It right, uh, doesn't matter if they're the the first lady, second lady. I say first lady because that's what they were in the conferences, right? In the assemblies. The first lady, president, first lady, and whatever. Even if you're the pastor's wife, it doesn't matter. Don't be a hindrance. Uh, doesn't matter who we are. Be a help. Be a help to somebody. We're not above, above anything. We're not above reproach. We're not... Don't think it, it can't happen to you like the Bible says. Mm -hmm. That's why you help them in a spirit of meekness, knowing that that can be you. Yes, yes. That can be you. Yes. Maybe that's why things are happening to you yes. now. Yes. Huh? That's, that maybe that's why, because you weren't there for them when they needed you. Because the Bible says you reap what you sow. Amen. We reap what we sow, right? Yeah. So we need to reap good things. Because right, if not, it's going to come back. Yes. Then you're going to remember. Yeah. You're going to remember how you were. Instead of being a help, you were putting it in their face. Right? Putting it in their face. No, they already know. What they need is someone to love them and to nurture them back. Yes, yeah. Reconciling them back to God. Yes. That's what we need to do. The Lord called us to reconcile His people back mm -hmm. to God. Yes, Bring my people back, He said. Yes, Bring my people back. Yes. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. Bring my people back. The Lord wants us to bring his people back to him. Amen. Amen. We need to build up a storehouse in heaven. Uh, that's what we need to do. Bring the people of God back. Amen. We need to thief proof our homes, our souls. Do the things that you need to do to, to make sure that that you ain't going to get caught like a thief in the night. That's right. That the Lord isn't going to come like a thief in the night. Because you're going to say, Lord, there you are. There you are, Lord, I caught you. I caught you coming for the church, Lord, and I caught you red-handed. Uh, and those that come, they ain't even going to Those that ain't ready and waiting, the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. And... They're not even going to know what happened. They'll know later when they, when they can't find you. <coughs> it's like the Bible says, two will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and the other left. Yeah. And, and so on and so forth, right? Like the scripture or the bumper sticker says, warning. Maybe that's what we need to do. Get ourselves a warning sticker on our cars. Warning. In case of rapture, this vehicle may be unmanned. Just to give them a warning. Right? Just to give, give the warning that the Lord might come and and you, be, you leave the car behind. At least that way they'll know if they, they might just want to take it. They can have it in that case, right? If the Lord comes and raptures you in your car, and whoever wants a car, they can take it. Uh, but we need to do that. We need to be ready, amen. We need to do the things that we need to do. Yeah. 
So what are you doing to make sure that the thief doesn't catch you unaware? Or that the day of the Lord overtake you like a thief? What are you doing about it? What are you doing about it? Hmm? You're going to be the one that that just don't care and do whatever you do. You're going to wait till the last minute. Well, I'll get ready tomorrow. I'll get ready this day or that day. I'm not ready right now. No, you're going to... You're going to come to church one day too late. You're going to come when the Lord already left. You're going to come when the Lord already left. Uh, but then it's too late. It's too late because the Lord came the day before. The Lord came the day before and, and you weren't ready. You were out there drinking, having a good time because you didn't... You kept saying, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll get ready. Amen. No, get ready today. Amen. Get ready today because today is the day of salvation. Yes. You need to get ready today. Amen. Okay. You need to get ready today. Amen. Maybe, uh, remember the, the day when someone came and and they wanted to get baptized. Yeah. They said, oh, I want to get baptized today. We think we were talking about it during um, te testimony time. And, and the visitor came in and said, like, I want to get baptized today. And while well, we weren't ready, we weren't ready. and. And we almost put it off Amen. till the weekend. Mm -hmm. But then I, I went out there and I said, you know what? The Bible says today. You know, we teach and we preach that today is the day of salvation. That's right, yeah. Today is the day of salvation. And here we are telling someone we can't baptize you today mm -hmm. because it inconveniences us. Because we're not ready. Mm -hmm. No, no. We'll, we'll get it ready. Yeah. You want to get baptized today? We'll get you baptized today. I went and told the lady, and she came back, and she came back, and she had to take her mom home. And when she came back, we baptized her after service. We get ready. As the people of God, we we get ready. We get ready anytime. Today is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow. You're not promised tomorrow. That's right, amen. You're not promised tomorrow. Um, nobody can promise you tomorrow. Nobody can. That's why today is the day of salvation. We need to make sure we're ready today, not tomorrow. Amen. So, safe proof your home, your spiritual home, and be ready for the, the thief in the night. Amen. Be ready. Put on those, turn on those spiritual eyes. Have the Lord take that eye song out of your eyes Amen. so that you can see clearly. Yes, amen. Uh, That's right. We need to, the Bible says to, you know, we, uh, be careful what we see, what we watch. Mm -hmm. That whatever you see, whatever, it's not darkness. Mm -hmm. Make sure what we see is the right thing. Right. The right thing that you need to be looking at. Um, that way, because what, it's what's inside. It's what's inside. The Bible says it's not what goes into a man. It's not what you eat mm -hmm. that defiles the man. Mm -hmm. It's what comes out of the man that defiles the man. See? We need to be careful what what comes out. Yeah. Amen. So just be ready. Yeah. Be ready. Don't don't be caught like a thief in the night. Yeah. Like I said, we we do everything it takes. 
cameras. Um, everyone's got those ring cameras or, or whatever it is, whatever brand it may be, and they even get it to where they can watch it on their phone. They can watch it on their phone. They can see when, <coughs> when someone's passing by. When someone's passing by because it detects the motion and it triggers their camera, which triggers their phone, and they're like, oh, they're picking up the trash now. <laughs> it's the trash man. It's a false alarm. It's the trash man here. He's picking up my garbage. Right? See, so we got it to where it's fine-tuned to where we know we can we can program these our alarm systems our security to alert us to let us know well the lord is doing that he's letting us know that he's coming yes, amen. That yes he is everything going on around us let lets you know yes, lets you know he says, you can discern the weather. You know it's going to be cold outside. You know everything, right? Oh, it's, it's red. It's red outside and whatever. And it's going to be nice. Or you know how to tell. That. <coughs> but yet you don't know how to discern the, the coming of the Lord. No. Huh? Didn't he say... When you see these things happening, he's coming, he's right there, he's at the door. Yes, yes. He's at the door and yet you you ain't ready, you ain't willing to to get that your spiritual cameras ready uh, to let you know when the Lord is coming. Uh, you need to get him ready. You need to get him ready. Get ready because the Lord is gonna come. He's gonna come and you don't wanna be caught. You, you don't wanna be caught with like a thief in the night. And like I said, you, you wanna be able to when the Lord comes you snatch on to him. Uh, although he's gonna his angels are gonna snatch us, right? That's what the Bible says. The angels are the reapers. They're going to come. He's going to blow the trumpet and the angels are going to come and smash us out. And that's what he said. That's what he said in his word. We're going to be caught up with them in the clouds. Those that have died in the Lord, we're going to meet them in the air. We're going to meet our loved ones in the air. And so shall we be with the Lord forevermore. Yeah. So we need to be ready. Be ready because the Lord is coming. Yeah, yes. Amen. Just get your spiritual cameras, your spiritual sensors, motion detectors ready. Mm -hmm. um, get, them, get them tuned for, for the Lord. Yes. Get them tuned for the Lord's coming. Amen. For the coming of the Lord, because He's coming. Yes, he is. Like I said, we got cameras to detect everything, but you can't detect the coming of the Lord. Huh? How's that? Oh, but this is spiritual. Well, you can be spiritual. That's right, amen. You can be spiritual, right? Yes. Be spiritual. Get ready. It doesn't take much. All you have to do is repent. Repent. Either yes. you need to get baptized in Jesus' name, receive the Holy Ghost, take the Lord's Supper, yeah. or you just need to repent and make things right. How long does it take to repent? How long does it take for the Lord to help you? Right. How long did it take Peter to, to call out to the Lord mm -hmm. when he was drowning or sinking? Yes. How long does it take? It doesn't take much. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. But it, it takes that first step. It takes that first step to just do it. Just do it. And the rest is living a holy life. 
living a holy life separated from sin. Uh, that's all we got to do. Live a holy life separated from sin. That's all you got to do. Yeah. The good thing about it is the Lord will help you. Yes. The Lord will help you. You're not alone. You're not alone. He says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And when he comes to you, he's with you until the day of redemption. Yes. Until the Lord comes to pick up his church, he's with you. He's in you. Yes. He's in you. He helps you. Yeah. He wants us to make it. He wants us to make it. So, yeah. <coughs> He's going to come like a thief in the night. So, be ready. Be ready. Like I said, you, you've heard it quoted. The Lord is coming like a thief in the night. You hear it, I've heard it. You hear those that play music on the radio. The Lord is coming like a thief in the night. Yeah. To those that ain't ready. But I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. You're going to be ready. Right? We're not going to be carnal. We're going to be spiritual. Right? We're going to be spiritual. Let us be spiritual. Let us, let us love the way the Lord loves. I Let's bring those to repentance that need repentance, not the in your face. Mm. No, <clears throat> the Lord had mercy on us. Yes. <clears throat> he had mercy on us, and we didn't get what we deserved. Right? Yes. We didn't get what we deserved. Yeah. We got. We got forgiveness, we got yes. mercy, Amen. we got compassion. Yes. So we can we can do the same. Yes. So that's all that I have. So come to the altar and, and be ready. Be ready. Get that spirit those spiritual cameras ready. Get <clears throat> get your spirit ready for <clears throat> for the coming of the Lord. For, Get your spirit ready for to be able to catch that thief. Huh? When the Lord comes so that you can catch you, Lord. I got you, Lord. You try to you, the Lord he tried to come like a thief in the night, but you were ready and you said, I got you, Lord. Amen. So catch the Lord and be ready. Amen. <clears throat> Come to the altar. <clears throat>